Yo, what's up all my fellow precious metal rocker heads? How we doing today? Man, it's glad to be, I am glad to be back. Excuse me. So excited to get back to you guys. I can't even talk already. But we all know that story. I slur and mix up my words all the time. Not very good under pressure. As far as getting to talk to you guys, I get so excited about it. Being able to spread the knowledge and excitement that we got with Silver here. Uh, the time I was away, like I told you in my last video, I'd be taking a little bit of time off, spend some time with a friend of mine who came into town. Had a lot of fun. It was great to see him. It's been a while. Lives out in the West Desert. Just uh, down in Arizona. So he really gets to feel the heat. Poor people down there in Arizona. Jeez. I, he told me uh, they shattered their July record heat with, uh, I believe it was 57 days of over 110. I, I, I think. It obliterated the prior record. So it was... From what I understand, he told me it was like the hottest month on record down there where he lives in Arizona. But what do you get? It's the West Desert. We get hot out here, out in the mountains in Nevada and Utah, Arizona. California's roasting. Man, all those people out there feel so bad for them. Where's the rain? Rain just makes it humid, though. Man, I can handle heat. I do very well in dry heat. Las Vegas, as you can see in my profile picture. It's where I'm from. It's what I love. The land of the 702, Clark County. Shout out to all of my people down there. Keep your heads up. We will be back. We'll be back. Can't keep a good town down. Sin City, right? <laughs> what you, what happened there used to stay there. So, what are we looking at here? I got us a whole bunch of amazing... Canadian silver maple leaves. Got to be one of my most favorite coins out there. It's simple. It's super shiny. And the Canadian Royal Mint does such an amazing job with their coins. I absolutely love the Royal Canadian Mint. And not to forget, dead center. The I believe I'm saying hell, heel or hell. Goddess of Death, the limited antique edition. I showed you guys this not very long ago. I ordered five of them. They're rounds. The Norse, the Norse God Coin series. Only 2,000 of them minted. Or produced, minted, whatever you want to call them. Awesome coins. I looked them up today to see about other editions putting in with this. And they have substantially gone up around $5.5 from when I bought that. So that's a good investment. I, got a, I stole some value. So I'm pretty well up on that coin for the ones that I bought. And, and if you get any of these, you're ahead anyway. Just don't pay attention to that spot price, which is one of the main reasons I was not going to put off any longer. Uh, getting back to you guys, i got a few points I'll make to you, but uh, what a great day. It's a great buying day. we got some pullbacks happening. Silver's bouncing around between the high 26s and low 27s. Gold's down as well. So if it's anything in your budget... Go out and get yourself some silver today. I don't know how many times we're going to see uh, $26, high $26 ranges. And, uh, you know, time's running out. It really is. We keep seeing, one, uh, you know, a pullback here and there. But do you really trust how long this is going to last? It made it this far. It's going to jump again. The printing press is going like crazy. The 10-year bond yield is down again. The, the dollar index is down every other day, if not every day, almost anymore. I mean, they're able to, you know, support it up a little bit here and there. But a good gauge on how things are looking is to look in the bond markets. And that 10-year bond yield is just really low. I think it was at a 0.62. And that is less than a savings account in your bank. That is terrible. Who is going to go in to a 10-year bond yield in the markets to a return of 0.6? That's six cents on every thousand dollars or so. And these people are playing with huge money. So it's 
it's getting pretty rough out there. Mainstream media is not going to talk to you about it. And I can't emphasize that enough. If at all possible, I know a lot of us, uh, not including myself, I don't really watch mainstream media anymore because, you know, it's all pre, uh, it's scripted, if you will. They're telling you the things that you, basically the general public, not just you, but I mean, the general in public need to hear, keep the fear down, or I should say, keep the fear up and, you know, re invigorate that the economy is bouncing back we have this v-shaped recovery and folks a tiny bit of due diligence getting out of the mainstream media going on to cnbc the website itself going to different sources like zerohedge.com uh, other youtube stations that are really exposing what's going on behind the curtains because believe it or not there are some youtubers out there that have connections and they're able to find the leaks and that do way more homework than me most of us do have a busy schedule and can't really sit down and do homework and, you know, for hours on end on the day. Some of us do have a job. Some of us got families, homeschooling, whatever the case may be. So if, if, it is, if that's your thing, you like mainstream media, more power to you. But if you believe this economy and this V-shaped recovery is a real thing, uh, no offense. I think you need to get some help because it's anything but. Air, American Airlines, I, from what I understand, I just understood, is going to be permanently laying off over 16,000 more folks. Ah, oh, man. Ford has announced, I believe it was 1,400 employees are going to be bought out to let them go. It, I mean, the list just goes on and on. And I'm not about doom and gloom because we're about this. <clears throat> I'm just trying to give you some updates. I've had a lot of time off which is one of the points I wanted to make to you briefly. In all that time off, I got out and about, you know, got out of the house, spending some time with my buddy. And it's because it's not very often I'm able to get out. I'm so focused on, you know, doing things, keeping the routine. And I need, a, I need to definitely put more balance in my life for sure. I know I preach that to a lot of you guys and I need to do it more myself. So it was really good. Got out and I'm a big fantasy football guy. We had our draft and so got to meet up with some old friends and, you know, a couple of family members that are involved. So got out and got some fresh air up in the canyon and by the river. It was super fun. But uh, when I was out and about just amongst general society and looking around and hearing other folks talking amongst themselves, I mean, not to be nosy or anything, but it's just one of those things you hear other folks talking and. I, it really occurred to me of how many people in the general public just really have no idea what's happening. None. Zero. They are proceeding with life as usual. Sure, they have they have their masks on. and Not to discourage anybody about wearing their masks. I'm not even going to go into depth about that. That's, that's just a whole other ball of wax. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. But... A very quick point i got looked at me and my friend of mine got looked at like we were totally aliens like another planet pluto you know because i only wear them where it's mandated uh it's it's not a rebellion it's not nothing like that i i just opt not to you know and if you do more power to you that's awesome i mean for you, everyone has their own reasons mine is not like i said it's not rebellious like a big uh middle finger to everybody or nothing like that i just opt not to is all so and the folks were just looking at us like who are these guys you know like we were totally aliens and i mean we went about our business but just the conversations that we had with others brief conversations you know just like in public excuse me we start conversating briefly while we're waiting in a grocery line or something like that and you can get a feel for how they are doing in life and they have, they're, to, it's like 100% oblivious to what's happening. And kind of like when, I don't know if you exposed any of your inner circle, your friends, your family that you're into stacking. It's kind of like that when I did it, when I first started and I told a couple of people that I trust in my inner circle and they were just like, they, it was almost like, 
they thought of it like fleeing the country. Like, what are you doing? Why? What? And they just totally don't understand. They have no idea what the 10-year bond yield is. They have no idea what the dollar index means. You know, why gold and silver go up when our dollar note is going down? What's going on in the stock market? How is it going up 500 points one day? And when you got a, the vast majority of the stock market is just zombie companies and five major stocks that are really being propped up to hold it all together. So, yeah. If you're uh, back to what I'm talking about here, it's just a general overview of how many people are still asleep and don't understand. And it's not their fault. It is scary to some and they don't want to know. And they're very much hoping that Big Brother can help them, support them, whatever the case may be. And they don't got to face the gloom reality of what's possibly ultimately going to happen. But for folks like us, this is an exciting time. It's not doom and gloom. This is very exciting. Hence, it is. there is some scary times. There's some very bad people out there. And hopefully you're protecting your, uh, your medals, your family, things like that. But we are going to enjoy life so much for doing this. We're going to be looking out for one another. We're going to be in contact with each other. We'll be taking those trips. We'll be helping, you know, start a different system, if you will. There is going to be those who have ill intentions that are doing this. Don't kid yourselves. Not all the ones that are not on the same page as us are ignorant. And they don't have the good intentions like some of us do and want to start something clean and pure when the, a new cycle starts. But I believe the good will always outdo the evil. Always has. But right now it's needed more than ever. Standing up for your country... Stand up for, up for what you believe in, defending your rights, things like that. But you don't need me to go over the Constitution with you or give you a history lesson. We're all about silver here, and this is a good time. Today is a great day to buy if you can afford it. I don't, you know, fractionals, half ounces. Half ounces are a good buy right now as well. I almost picked up a couple of those today, and I still might. I placed an order last night, and the, the night before, I found some coins i think i picked up five rounds and uh i picked up some south korean tigers the 2020 south korean tigers that are pretty well sought out after and i think you if you're able to get a hold of any you're definitely going to be glad you did because i see they're they're sought out after so greatly and the value is there right now that they're going to just go up and up so if you are able to find anybody any online sources dealers get a hold of them i know the premiums are a little high right now but like i said would you rather pay a little bit of a high premium as of right now where you're paying in the 30s which is it still shocks me to say that it seems like yesterday we were thinking that 20 dollars was expensive or even 18 19 you know 17 16 when our prices were somewhat low which are really cheap compared to today and in the future what we're looking at right now is going to be cheap from what we're going to be looking at in the future. And we're going to be like, gosh, I wish I had just done that one, you know, that one purchase, paid the $5 premium or, you know, unless you're able to find a good deal. The point is, I think you really ought to just take the dive, do it before you can't because time is running out before the big boys get to the table and have already realized this is going to be the place to run. Warren Buffett's a prime example. The guy has never really if gotten into the precious metals market. He did into silver and was kind of forced out. But now he cashed in a bunch of his derivatives and went into mining stocks. I mean, <laughs> a guy who's criticized precious metals for so long is now running to it. And that's a, a bellwether. It's writing on the wall. If one of the smartest genius investors of all time who's done nothing but succeed in the you know stock markets and with his companies is doing this or you know not even in the physical but he's getting into this mining so it, it it's just a sign to tell you he's just one of the big boys who are at the table now wait till the rest get here we're going to be so priced out they're going to dump so much big dollars into it that you know the prices are going to be beyond our comprehension and that's my fear for all those who have not even gotten started yet. 
If you haven't, you have to. I, even if it's copper, you know, because it is a lot cheaper than silver and gold, obviously. But I believe silver is going to be the way. And I've told you that in the past. Other channels will tell you that. It's going to be the key. There's far more gold above ground than there is silver. And it's that simple. When this dries out, what's next? We're going to sit around. I mean, over 50% of the silver mining companies, or not even just companies, but the silver mines in the world from the folks who are mining it are shut down. Still. And so I think they can manipulate it all they want. Eventually, they're not going to be able to. And the truth is going to come out. And it's going to be folks who have been stacking, folks who have been stacking way longer than me, way longer than me, and it got 30 times more than I ever will, will be sitting back in that lazy boy and laughing, saying, I told you so when everyone laughed at me. So try not to be one of those people, you know. If you can get any, if you can get some, try. I know everyone's on a budget. I'm even on a budget. I, I cannot buy like I used to, but I do go to work and I make that Monopoly money so I can get some more of this after paying my bills. And I'm still able to do it. I'm, even if, you know, one of my subscribers, you know, threw me a line and says I'm only able to do one or two a month. That's amazing. That's more than so many other people can do. If you're able to get one, fortunately here in the United States, we do not have, you know, like the bullion taxes and the, you know, all these government taxes that make it merely almost impossible to want to buy. Unlike, you know, I talked to a person over in, I believe it was Europe, and saying that their taxes over there is so high to get bullion grade silver and that, that after the taxes and all that are done, it's literally double the price of the bullion that you're buying so a lot of folks don't even bother so if you're in the united states take advantage of this uh even if you're not in the united states my folks out in australia europe and other places that do tune in uh, i think you already know what's coming in your own governments you might be seeing the signs on the wall depends on how uh shady your governments are but it doesn't take you know a harvard grad to realize things aren't looking that great. And I'm not sure what to make of the whole vaccine coming in early November. Is it good news? Sure, it's optimistic. It's good news. I sure am not going to be the first guy jumping in line for it. I am not Paul. I have not ever tested positive or anything. I've been one of the very few lucky people that have not come down sick. <coughs> As I sit here and cough on you. <laughs> so yeah it's important to keep a positive attitude but be realistic know what's going on around you be very aware of your situ uh, situational awareness make sure you're exercising that because there's a lot of folks out there that do not care who they harm what they're doing to others and so we gotta stick together you know be prepping do you know like i said be aware of your surroundings at all times and put this stuff in a safe place and like common sense would say to anybody, I mean, you just don't go broadcasting what you got. And hence why one of the reasons why most of your silver stackers that you see on YouTube don't show their face. I mean, are they going to come after stackers? They see our face. They're going to have to do some homework, deep, you know, CIA type stuff to get face recognition, track us down. But that I'm a kind of an ugly guy anyway. Who knows? I mean, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But we know that this is beautiful. The goddess of death, and she's coming for uh, the big brother out there in the monetary system. She's already, uh, you know, deployed the Valkyries, and they're taking them down. It's plain and simple. I mean, this coin couldn't say any more than what is fixing to happen, and it's already started. The cover-ups are like crazy, and yet those folks in the White House and others in your governments are saying how great things are getting and looking up. There it is. Let's not even get me started on the rant. It's BS and you know it. So we just need to keep stacking, stick together, spread some love and positive attitudes because there's so much hatred and negativity going on. And our country is so divided. We need to bring goodness. And, you know, if you can find somebody you can help and you, 
even if it's uh you know one of those guys standing on the corner and you truly believe that maybe it's legit throw him a bottle of water i try to every now and again i don't always carry bottles of water on me but helping out those who actually are in need it's amazing how great it makes you feel afterwards and know that you did something putting some skin in the game you know so for as far as our community this is our skin in the game this is going to benefit so many people around us keep the good heart and uh i'm gonna since it's been as long as it has been I've, since i've been able to talk to you i apologize but it was needed got to get some fresh air like i said and uh i want to thank y'all for taking some time to hang out with me rocking out enjoy the rest of your week you'll talk to me again soon leave me a comment down below you want to talk about something you got some ideas you want to see on the channel hit me up Throw that like button right on your set of drums. Bang them to death. Oh, that didn't sound so great. Put them right on that snare drum and just, yeah. Go to town on that like button. <laughs> I don't even know how to phrase that any better. <laughs> Hit that subscribe and notification bell if you want to, if you like what you see. If you don't, I apologize. I'll do better in the future. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll let you all go and you all have a great rest of your Wednesday. Or I should say Thursday. That's right. So, thank you all again. Stop by. Heavy metal noise. Gonna go rock out, alright? Peace.